Obviously, we are loading up the boat, ladies and gentlemen. We're going on a little bit of a trip. We're gonna be hitting some of the biggest, most well-known waterways in Florida looking for giant bass. We're also gonna hit some underappreciated areas, some areas that may not even be recognizable to the ear of a normal angler. It's about to happen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Could be a... Oh my god. Dude, that Is feels big. Is it oh my god, it's big. It's huge. It's huge. Obviously, we are loading up the boat, ladies and gentlemen. We're going on a little bit of a trip that it is Badger and myself. Here's the thing, temperatures have been like freezing or below freezing here in the south. Well, Alabama is where I live, but the weather's been not good. Fishing's been not good. Got the pre-spawn right around the corner. Or we're in the pre-spawn now, but the fishing has just not been great. So we decided we're gonna make a little road trip. We're gonna be hitting some of the biggest, most well-known waterways in Florida looking for giant bass. We're also gonna hit some underappreciated areas, some areas that may not even be recognizable to the ear of a normal angler. Guys, this trip was inspired by you guys, the fans, the subscribers of this channel. And remember, we are on the road to 1 million subscribers. So if you have not done so already, it's free to do. Subscribe to the channel. It's a red button right below the video. You can always unsubscribe later. But this is going to be an epic trip, guys. I'm not sure how many videos this is going to span. It could be as many as five or six. It may be as few as three or four. Just depends on how this trip goes. But we are about to hitch the old boat up and start the long drive down to central South Florida. We're probably gonna meet up with some characters along the way that you guys may recognize. Let's get on the road, boys. make a little pit stop on the way down because your boy Lojo forgot to pack a few of the Guggen rods and we've got some but we don't really have what I would like to consider enough so I had to hit our good friends at Dick's Sporting Goods here in Lake City Florida and grab the only two they have which just so happens are Guggen Green go-to rods which they're go-to rods you can do anything with them so I'm not gonna spoil you guys like where we're going what we're doing but we're gonna be fishing some of the biggest most well-known big bass lakes in the south and florida in the world and badge and i have never fished most of these places so it's all going to be new we have to figure it out now that we've got a couple more guggen rods i think we've got enough to deck the boat out launcher and fishing spot number one my prediction big bass coming at you soon All right, folks, top number one on this little Florida big bass journey is actually right behind me. It's kind of a, a weird circumstance. We've got a canal system right here, but there's really no lake that can be seen. But apparently there's a lot of canal systems on this lake. This lake is called Lake Eustis, and it's part of the Harris chain of lakes in Central Florida. It's kind of in the Orlando region, but if you Google it, it's not hard to find. There's a bunch of lakes that are all interconnected because of canals and different waterways I'm not even really sure but one thing i do know for sure is the harris chain is known to produce big bass okay so this is gonna be like the most random part of this trip because a lot of the other stops we have like well planned this was just one of those things like hey badge have you ever fished the harris chain never He's, seen it no i haven't either we're gonna drive right past it on the way to one of our other lakes that we're gonna hit tomorrow so why not put the boat in we've got three hours of good light and just maybe those bed fish might be coming up out of the depths into those shallow canals to bed. So it's gonna be tough to see them because it's not very bright. The sun's obviously behind a ton of clouds, but hey, I mean, if they're there, we've got a decent chance of catching them. Let's launch the boat. The wind might be an issue, we'll see. Hopefully we don't sink the boat on day one.
Oh, it's not too bad, man. It's not too bad at all. It's a little choppy, but it's fine. Here with all these roots in the water. All right, we're about to make our first run, although it's really windy, so we're gonna kind of take it slow, just be as safe as we possibly can. Get my old kill switchy going on here. But we've got our eye on a certain area. I mean, we've never fished here before, so it's gonna be one of those things where you just kind of throw a dart against the wall and see if it sticks, but. I see an area that looks good, and uh, yeah, I feel pretty good about it. I really wish we'd had cameras running on that initial run. I don't know why we didn't. <laughs> but we're here, we're at canal number one. The good thing is there's multiple canals on this graph. I mean, they're all over the place. Now there was a place we wanted to fish over there, but there was a bunch of boats in there. It's okay though. This look at just showing this canal real quick. Look at this canal. Just like overhanging mossy oak trees and like it's so quiet. It was so loud on the main lake trying to rip in this wind, but now it's just like dead calm, dead quiet. So we're not talking anymore, boys. We're fishing. Oh my gosh, badge. This is, might be heaven, man. By the way, folks at home, the water's like 65 degrees, which is insane because where me and Badge are coming from, it's what, 52, 53? Yeah, it's me, pretty cold. It's on the way up, but it's it's still freaking cold. So uh, what are you thinking, Badge? You thinking just straight? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I haven't seen water temps like this since the early fall. So I really have no idea, like, should we be power fishing? Should we just be flipping as if there's a bunch of beds in here? I guess so. I don't know. The water's so muddy, we're not going to be able to see beds right now. So I think one of us needs to be flipping. Maybe I should be power fishing up front and you be behind me, like, flipping. Let's do it. You know what I mean? I feel it. Let's do it. Well, I think a little clickbait with a uh, dart on the back of it. Water this dirty, that might be a move. This is one of those situations where we can't see beds. Just act like you see beds, you know what I mean? Just like flip at stuff where you think a bed would be, and then just act like you're on a bed and just like work it a little bit and then move on. I'll tell you what folks, when you come to a giant <laughs> uh, land of many lily pads like this, I mean, what's gonna be better than a frog? I mean, honestly. What's going to be more fun to throw than that, honestly? What's going to be able to come over the top of that stuff? Weedless. And still get bites. <laughs> Could never do that again if I tried. <laughs> Ooh, that was a little fast. Just hit something over there. Get him back. Get him. That's really shallow over there. Look how shallow that water is over there. That's not what you want to do right there. How in the world did I do that? Yes. Right along this edge. Damn, that squirrel's like, what the freak? All right, cove system number one was kind of a bust, but I only call it a bust because one, there was a boat coming out of it as we were coming in. And who knows how long he was in here fishing. He could have just torn this cove apart, not a cove, uh, this, uh, this uh, canal. canal. Wow, I just completely forgot what they were called. <laughs> um, yeah, but it's okay. We saw some other attractive features on this lake that we're gonna hit right now. And we could, just, we could have spent more time 
but we don't want to we don't want to come to a lake like this it's a famous area and just fish one area we just want to bounce around and just kind of take in the whole lake you know for a fact so let's make a quick little run It's a lot warmer in this canal than it was in the last one, by the way. Sit. Ooh, I just got freaking rocked, bro. I definitely just got rocked. Oh my god. Okay, they've been on there that entire time, swimming at me. No way. There it is. It's really warm in this canal. It's a full two degrees. Dang. Unless it's the grass on the freaking transducer. Very likely. <laughs> Very likely. No, sir. <laughs> not the wow. Here, that was not me. No. That was a tree. It was a <laughs> squirrel on a tree yeah, doing gymnastics. <laughs> it's too good of a cast. I'm scared. Look at that skip, baby. Dang. Yoinks. Oh, I got hung on the dock. No. It was too good. It was too good of a cast. No. It happened. They do exist. You get too deep in there, next thing you know, you're all squiggled up. Gosh, man. That felt like a, a hit. Yeah, there you go. Uh huh. I like it. All right, folks, we've been looking at this grass for a long time out here on the main lake. For a long time out here on the main lake. Tired of looking at all this grass on this main lake without actually fishing it. Wow, I just tried to operate trolling motor without it being in the water. That was really cool. There's a ton of submerged grass just like on the outer rim of this lake. So we hit them with a little saucy swimmer, kind of like a little top water deal. We're just gonna burn that joker. Right across the top of the water like so. Like that, get a little plop going on. Yeah, we'll see. That's gonna be stuff that's gonna hold mega fish. So we're kind of throwing a little bit of a Hail Mary here. We found this this creek and this cove that pushes way back and uh, read some fishing reports online that said that maybe this was a potential spawning flat too. So a lot of lily pads, a lot of standing grass, a lot of reeds and stuff. Liking the way this is looking for a lunker log or even a, a frog. So badge, we got about, probably about 40 minutes of light, maybe like 30. So we're gonna have to hustle and make something happen here because we can't let this first trip to such an amazing fishery, dude, do us dirty like this. We got him in. Yeah, we got him. <laughs> What's that out there? Something swirling on a handstand. All right, we're running out of light, Badge. In fact, it's not even, that's not even the problem. The big problem is, can you see the bugs? Can you see them? Somewhat. There's kind of like, I've got the, the troll motor on high and just set on a course, just so we can have a little bit of breeze to get the bugs off of us. Oh, he's on you. Sorry, sorry. So yeah, the bugs are just absolutely eating us alive. We, we remembered that we forgot two crucial things on today's little outing. One, we forgot bug spray. And when you're going to Florida at basically any time of year, unless it's freezing, which is very unlikely to be in Florida, this is far south. Number two, toilet paper for the boat. 
So we're gonna get off the water real quick and rectify those issues, but um, see you guys at the boat ramp. All right guys, we got the boat off the water. We've kind of taken some notes of how things went today. And basically one, we ran out of time and we really had no knowledge about this lake whatsoever other than the fact that it was part of the Harris chain of lakes here in Central Florida. So please, any of you local anglers or people that have fished this body of water, hit us in the comment section with some tips. Maybe we can come back one day. Maybe other people who live in this area can learn about this lake. But here's the deal guys. I know you're probably a little disappointed in us because we didn't catch a fish. You know, whatever, it happened. It happens sometimes. We only had three hours. I, I'm not that, I'm not beating myself up that bad. Are you? No, and it's, we've never been there. Yeah, new lake, three hours. If we had eight hours, we probably could have put a few in the boat, you know. Probably would have ripped around a lot more because we, we only stayed in like one general area because the lake was so rough. Just in case you're thinking that this whole trip's gonna be, you know, don't let this be an indication of how this whole trip's gonna turn out because what we're about to show you guys are just some of the highlights of what to stay tuned for. Enjoy. Well, fish. Yes, that's a decent fish. I think it's safe to say this is a giant spawning fly. Oh, 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 he chased it up. Got him. Got him? Oh, shit, stop, dude. There's stuff everywhere. Holy shit. We'll have some opportunities. We'll have some top water opportunities for sure. God. Jeez. This is Jiggin with Jordan, and this is his backyard pond. Do you see it? Please tell me you're recording. <laughs> Send it. It could be a. Oh my God, dude, that feels big. Let's go, baby. Now it's gonna be close to my PB. All right. Got old men yelling at us. What else could go wrong today? Well, folks, uh, I got some bad news. I'm worried here. Yeah, so it's safe to say we got some exciting stuff coming your way. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel with the bell notification enabled. It's free to do. Remember, you can unsubscribe at any time. Smash the thumbs up button if you're enjoying this series so far. Next time we see you guys here in Florida, we're going to be holding big bass in our hands. See you later.